Sheikh, I have a question. Uh, I, I study pharmacy in university, but in a class called Project Management, one of one of the professors was telling us that during the Soviet Union, the government the government used to high, hardwire people into believing that a person should be acting morally, even if God is not watching. And she said that in a way that shows that she's supporting the opinion. And in another class of ecology, we studied the evolution theory, and in another class of ecology as well. One of the professors was telling us about the Nosphere, which is a philosophical concept that promotes the idea that people of different religions should be equal lay, in front lay, of the lay, lay, lay. When we go to university in a Kafir country, there will be lots of subjects that do not coincide with our beliefs and convictions as Muslims. We have two choices, either to quit or to continue while resenting these ideas and simply answering according to the syllabus so that we pass the course and get our degree and can work and move on with life. If everyone started quitting, we will always be unable to progress as Muslims. So there will always be evolution in biology in these Kafir countries. There will always be haram things in physics talking about infinity and about matter and about things that go against our religion. We believe that substances are created. This is from Allah Azza wa They don't believe in that. So in all in all, what you have to study, if there is something that goes around against your Islamic beliefs, you resent it, you hate it, but you have to do it as an exam and move on with life and Allah knows best.